My dad had an interest in wine, and so in the early 70s, he got hired to take photos of uh, portraits of the winemakers of the Napa Valley. And so he had a great time. He was a very gregarious guy. And it turns out if you're taking photos of people to get them to relax, uh, you start talking about what they do. Between Bob Mondavi and Louis Martini and Joe Heights and all those guys, he got to go take their portraits and he'd spend, he enjoyed it more than anything else because he, he got to interview them and they shared their passion. From when we started, we just had 20 acres that we started with. The family that owned the property before us, the Sturdivants, were good friends of our grandparents. My grandparents started an auto repair in downtown Oakland back in 1926. And uh, my grandfather and my father uh, worked together for about 50 years running that business before the family kind of moved into winemaking. The garage helped support the winery for about the first 10, 12 years to kind of get us over that early startup hump. That's how we landed here. We all lived in Oakland, and so on the way home to Oakland, he'd stop by, get a cup, cup of coffee. He said, if you ever want to sell this place, let me know. And they said, oh, Jackie, we're old, but we're not that old. But by the time he gets home, they're on the phone with him saying, hey, we decided to sell it to you, you gotta come back up. And who knew, here we are close to 50 years later. Today we have you know, about 600 acres. The focus is, is getting nice, uniform, ripe fruit and uh, be able to pick it at the right time. Stephanie Jacobs, our winemaker today, who took over from uh, Julianne Lacks, she's been with us, I think it's almost 18 years now. It's a wonderful business. Uh, it's, it's agriculture, so it's got its ups and downs, uh, and we've got lots of challenges, um, but it's the most fun thing you could ever do. You know, we of course take great pride in the product that we make, and we, we think we make the best wines uh, possible. And so that continuity in terms of consistency and style, consistency and quality has served us well for a long, long time. From the get-go, from when my father started making the wines back in the 70s, he's always had a philosophy that we always make wines that we like to drink, because if you can't sell them, you better be able to drink them. And that's always been the guiding philosophy of myself, when it's winemaker Julianne, and now Stephanie, is when you taste the wine, does it taste good to me? Uh, and so it's thumbs up or thumbs down, and then everything else builds from there. But you, being uh, at the winery so long, you know, Stephanie, before that, Julianne, they know it in, in kind of internal uh, clock that says, these wines are worthy of Cake Bread Cellars label. And so that's really important. Have grown our vineyard acreage to uh, give us a great source of supply. We work so hard at growing the best fruit. We're here in the, the Garden of Eden, so to speak, of uh, places to grow grapes, the Napa Valley. It's, it's an amazing place. And so that all comes together, challenging in lots of different ways. It's rewarding in lots of different ways. All in all, I'm, I'm happy I'm here, happy I've spent you know, close to 40, 50 years doing this. What a, what a great thing. We do know that we'll be making high quality wines uh, that go well with food. As, as long as people are eating and having a glass of wine with it, we want to be on the table. The only way I know I'm having fun is because it doesn't feel like it's close to 50 years. When uh, Bruce and I were talking about it as we were getting up for our, uh, close to our 40th anniversary, or the winery was getting close to the 40th anniversary, we were talking about it and said, you know, it, it feels more like five years, maybe six or seven years at the most, but no way is this 40 years that we've been doing this. And so I think that's a good sign that it's all pretty, pretty fun.